I'm Jay, and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. I'm wetting a piece of paper here with a sponge, and I'm going to show you why. I've got these fantastic paints, and all they need is a bit of water and a brush. Mix it up. Look at that. Let's put some more blue down. In fact, this looks like under the water. So, why don't we draw some of the creatures that live there? Red. Let's see if you can guess what this is. It has one leg, two legs, Three legs, four legs, can you count with me? Five legs, six legs, and seven, eight. Yes, that's right. It's an octopus. Now watch this. I've got a cotton bud here. And what you can do is make little circles picks up the paint, so it looks like it's the octopus suckers on its tentacles or legs. And those things pick up all the little bits and pieces that it wants to eat. Last leg now. Let's uh, make some eyes and uh, give them a little look. There we go. Lovely. Now there's some other friends of the octopus that live under the water. Do you know what this is? It's a starfish. Let's paint another one. Aren't they nice? Now, there's another thing that grows under the water. It's green. And uh, sometimes you see it on the beach, all washed up. Do you know what it is? It's seaweed. Let's paint in those eyes one last time. There he is. Now he's looking at me. Hmm, what do you think? Why don't you use your paints and see what pictures you can make? Hello! We've been mixing colours to make some very fishy pictures. Have a look at them in today's Martini's Gallery. got red paint and white paint. Who knows how to change the colours of this paint? What do you think? Pink. Pink. If we mix them together, do you think it'll make pink? Shall I show you? Yeah. Oh, let's get the lid off. What we'll do first, there's some red paint. Mm -hmm. Now I've got a lovely fish here and we're going to paint fish. Really colourful yeah, fish. Oh, look that at that colour. Nice. It looks nice. That's a great colour, yes, isn't it? It looks nice. I like all the colours. About there. Well, you can paint with all sorts of different colours, but we're going to change that colour now by adding some... White. White. Pink. Do you think it'll make pink? Yeah. Should we have a go? Yeah. Ready? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Right, I'm going to put that to make this stripy fish. Wow. Nice dark pink. What's going to happen if we put some more white in there, do you think? Make another white. Light. light white. Do you think? Should we try? Yeah. Look. Oh. Wow, that's a really light pink, isn't it?
Our dish is pink and red. It doesn't matter, you see, that you've gone outside the line there because when we cut it out, you won't see that and then we can stick it on the sea, can't we? Red is the dark colour. I'm painting a pink fish. <gasps> You've got dots outside your fish. We're nearly finished. Wow, look at those fish. That is a very busy sea, isn't it? Now we've got our fish down, we're going to make it look even more sea-like with some seaweed. Wow. Here are our fish. Danielle painted a spotty pink fish. Megan also used spots, but in green. Drew preferred stripes. Mackenzie painted three shades of pink on his fish, while Megan used a darker green for an eye. What a fishy collection! See what sort of colours you can make. What time is it now? Tidy up time! It certainly is. So until next time, bye! bye. Oh, that spinning makes me feel funny. Hello, I'm Kirsten, and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. I like patterns. I like looking at them, and I like making them. Look at this pattern. It's a spiral. It starts off at the top and spirals round to the bottom quite tightly. And it looks a little bit like a spring, I think. And look at this spiral. This reminds me of a snail's shell. It goes around and around, getting smaller and smaller into the middle. And not only does the pipe cleaner swirl, but if you look, the pattern on the pipe cleaner swirls as well, the red and the white. And what about lots of swirls together, like on this plate here? They start off in the middle, and then it goes around and around, getting bigger and bigger, lots of swirls in different colours, all next to each other, to make the pattern on the plate. Now, here's a pattern we can make that actually spins. I've got this paper plate, and I'm going to paint it. So I'll start with some blue paint. Now then, start in the middle, and then spiral out. I think I'll use some orange paint now. Ooh, my lines are getting fatter. And now some yellow paint. All the way to the edge of the plate. There we are, a nice spiral, but now let's make it spin. I've got a lump of plasticine here, and I'm just going to put my plate over the top of the plasticine. And now, with a pencil, keeping my fingers out of the way, I'm going to just push through and make a hole in the plate. If I take the plasticine away and push up like that, watch, you can see my plate spinning around and around and around. A spinning spirally pattern for my pattern palace. Hey look, a 
tree. Let's paint our own tree using paint and straws. First of all, let's paint the tree trunk. Blob of brown paint down here. Lovely. And a straw to blow. Watch. There, one tree trunk. <gasps> Big picture, right. Oh. Picture. Right, let's make the branches of the tree. A bit more brown paint. One, two, three. That's enough of that. And blue. Oh, I like that. What about over here? Wow, perfect. A tree with branches. Whoa, big picture! Right! Oh. Right, let's give our tree some leaves. Now, a bit of sponge, a bit of green paint, dab it on, and just splodge on your leaves. Look at this. Put some more on down there. Oh, lovely, just splodge them all on everywhere. Perfect. One lovely leafy tree. Finished! <gasps> no, I haven't! Oh, where's my hat? <laughs> Finished! Small picture. Big picture! Thank you.